So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so we're back with a PC tutorial this time on how to install an option file. Okay, so on PC you've got endless really uh, opportunities of, of doing different stuff. You can put a patch on there, but I don't think there's any out right now. Uh, and obviously option files are a very simple way to do it. So we're using the Pez Universe one here. Uh, we have a PC file there. If you remember, you can go ahead and grab it. It's as simple as that. Uh, it doesn't have the Bundesliga right now. Um, the update is coming out today, though. So I may have to do another video afterwards to show you how to do that. But it's pretty much just adding a couple of leagues or one league. Uh, because the Bundesliga was conflicting with the update that came out when PES 2020 came out. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the hub and download the file itself. Uh, it's very, very simple. You go to the hub. And then from there, you'll scroll down. You can go to main option files. If you are on, with Pez Universe, you don't have to use our file. Of course, you can use anyone. Uh, and then you'll download the PC file right here. Okay. And we've also got the championship in 2048. Now, I've downloaded this because I want to have the better um, quality. Because in the uh, standard PC file, we just have the 1024. But if you want the 2048, you can go ahead and download that. I'll show you what you need to do, though, to make that work. So once you have the file, you're sorted. So let's now move on to the next step. Okay, so once you've downloaded the file, uh, you're going to obviously have the WEPES folder. Make sure you use something like WinRAR, which is what I recommend. I'll leave the link for it in the description if you don't have it. If you don't have it, you should always have it. It really is the best extraction software you can use, and it's free as well. So double-click on it, and it's going to open up what you need um we don't have the bundesliga as i said before there was a couple of errors within that but we'll get that fixed and updated for you guys when a new file comes out we'll let you know uh, so unfortunately it's not there right now so you're going to have the championship in 1024 if you want the 2048 version then you can download that and i'll show you what you need to do to make it work because it won't work without deleting a couple of things so once you have these what you're going to need to do is run the game okay run the game before you even do this start a fresh copy of pez because what it's going to do then is create a couple of folders for you first of all you're going to have your initial folder right you're going to have all the the game xe uh, x e x e sorry um files pez 2020 the settings and all that but this isn't where you put the option file what you need to do is go to documents right here uh, find the Konami folder and then they're going to have the eFootball Pez 2020 folder. If you don't run the game and you don't have an edit file created by the game itself, it's not going to do this for you. That's where you have to open the game up, go to edit mode, let it create an edit file. Then you're going to have these. These are what you need. Within here, you'll have the WE Pez folder. Exactly the same as you saw before. This is the same as the PS4 way of doing it. You're just using it through the desktop as opposed to a USB. Um, double click that. It's going to be blank for you guys. I've already done it because I want to save some time. But you're going to have all the folders here. So I would literally drag and drop. Okay, drag these, extract them into there. If you want to right click and do extract, you can. But I don't even bother. I highlight them and I drag them into the folder. And that's it. It is then done. Now, there is a difference between the 2048 championship right here. In fact, I'm just going to rename this 2048 just to make it easier so I know what's what. Uh, and then the 1024, obviously double the high quality as well. That's why I want to have it. So let me show you what the championship looks like right here in, in the initial 2048. If you double click and you have a look at the likes of Wigan Athletic, you can see in press we have PNGs. Obviously, the kits are in there. You leave them alone. And then we have a couple of other things. What I'm going to do, actually, is just drag this into this folder to show you guys the difference right now. So, I'm going to open this up in a new window. If you want to use the 2048 Championship, this is what you need to do. This is the 1024 right here. Side-by-side -side comparison. So, if we click on Barnsley and we click on Barnsley here, you can see the difference on the PlayStation 4 you're gonna have the stadium pick you're gonna have the manager and you're gonna have the press um, sponsorships in there as well but unfortunately on PC once again there's a bit of an issue where it won't load or it won't install probably if you have those so you're gonna have to go through each file and delete them if you want to use this you're gonna have to delete this this go into press delete these three 
and then back out and then do the same for every single one delete the manager delete the stadium delete the press it's not a huge bummer you're still going to get the kits and the logos etc um, when a new update comes out and hopefully fixes this then it will be fine but you want to go through every single team and it doesn't take long there's only 24 of them and just delete them okay so do that for every single team if you want the high quality championship on the pc simple as that so once that's done i'm now going to delete the uh, the 1024 because i don't need that everything sorted we have everything we need we've got the competitions we've got the premier league we've got the championship of course in the high quality um actually no i need to delete that one too uh, we've got the championship, La Liga, City A, City B. Everything's there. Okay, job is done. So now, we're going to load up the game. So I'll see you guys in the game, because that is all we needed to do. All right, so we're now in our copy of PES 2020. Uh, so we're going to go across. Before we even do this, actually, let me show you that nothing's been done. Okay, it is all standard and all everything's wrong. Okay, so English League, we've got Arsenal, but we've got Aston Villa wrong, Bournemouth, Brighton, it's all wrong. It is nice year this year though that they have actually put just Norwich so everyone knows who is who. We used to have some really atrocious names in PES that we didn't know really who was what. Uh, obviously Man Red was about as good as it got. So you can see nothing's been done. Okay, this is all fresh. I haven't even played a copy of PES yet or the new game. So we're going to go across now to settings, edit, we're going to let it load up. No image list found. Okay. And now we're going to scroll down to import export. Um, it's going to ask me this. I don't really care too much about that. So we're going to go down now to import competition. So it says you can import competition data you previously exported. It tells you exactly where you need to put it. That's fine. You don't need to worry about that. Hit OK. And here we have everything that is needed. Now, hopefully, there's not going to be any errors. I don't know. I haven't even tried this, but there shouldn't be. So we're going to hit square on the PlayStation 4 controller or what is it? X on the Xbox. Um, so everything is now ticked. And we can go to advanced settings. Leave this alone. Do not tick the box. And then click OK. And it's going to go through every competition and load them up. So let's let it do it. So now it's done, finished importing data. We had no problems. It's gonna save it. And it uh, keeps asking me, let's try, let's not try. Okay, we don't need to worry about it. So we could go to competitions now and we can actually have a look that we do have all the badges. All right, so the, the teams aren't there, they're not sorted, but we have the Premier League, the Skybet, Skybet playoffs, uh, the Community Shield and um, everything else. So it's, it's looking good, La Liga's there. Um, so yeah. That's done. Sorted. All right, so next, doing all the other leagues. Going to go to Import Export. Back to Import Team. Yeah, and initially, when you do this as well, it's going to run a tutorial. Just go through it. Just keep pressing X pretty much till it's sorted. So here you can see we've got everything loaded. The Premier League, the Skybet, La Liga, La Liga 2, uh, and then the Italian teams. So you don't need to go through everyone individually. Just hit Square or X tick them all uh, and then go to advanced settings now later on when you do the bundesliga it's pretty much going to be the same as this but you're going to tick the top box and that is it but we're not doing the bundesliga so we're just leaving it null and void so leave it alone no tick no boxes click ok and it should go through no problems you shouldn't get any errors now if you are doing the sky bet as i said before make sure you delete the stadium picture, the manager picture, and the press or sponsor images. If you do that and you just have the logo and the kits, it should be fine and you should have everything else done. So let's let this run through and uh, I'll return. Okay, so it's done. As you can see, no errors at all. Finished importing without a hitch. So it will save it, and then we will head back to... Uh, let's go to Players. Edit Player. That way we can see some players as well. So we've got the logos. We know that. The Premier League, the Skybet is there. City A, City B, La Liga. Uh, so let's go back up to the Premier League. So we've got Arsenal. 
obviously done because they're already licensed. <laughs> We've got Aston Villa, Bournemouth, Brighton, Chelsea. Every single emblem is there for you guys to take a look at. So if we go to the likes of Wolves, you can now see, look at that, high quality. They look apps. I mean, I'll tell you what, the quality this year, and I'm not just saying this because obviously I'm part of Pez Uni, but they look stunning. If you've seen them in-game, they really are next level. Uh, let's go to Skybet here and quickly have a look because we've obviously imported the high-definition type kits. So there it is. They look beautiful. Not a problem. No errors, as you can see. So if you do it exactly how I've done it, you shouldn't have any problems. Just make sure there is no stadium picks, manager picks, and no sponsors. And then everything will look and be hunky-dory. I've also got a new file um, for more tighter kits. So it's going to look a little bit different. But obviously, I wanted a couple of mods already on PC. But I'm going to have tutorials out for those, so don't worry about it. Uh, but there we have it. Let's just quickly go to La Liga. Maybe show you the likes of uh, Real Madrid real quickly. If we can find them. There we are. And show you guys how they look. So there we have it. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. It's pretty standard. It's pretty simple. Any questions, comments, let me know. And if you have done it, then please help others out as well. Because obviously, that's truly appreciated. But until next time, guys, see you on the next one. Hopefully we'll have some gameplay coming up shortly. Take care.